Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is April, and in today's video, we are going to be discussing all of the plants that I killed in 2021. I'm definitely starting this year with a lot less plants than I started off with last year. We've all probably killed a lot more plants than we're willing to admit. Some were probably on accident or due to a lack of knowledge, and others probably on purpose. But with killing so many plants, I have learned a lot about caring for several different types of plants, which is obviously very beneficial. Maybe I'll make one of those things I wish I would have known before owning plants videos. Give me a thumbs up if you want to see that in the future. And without further ado, let's get into it. So I do have a little list in front of me that I'm going to be reading off of. There are nine plants on this list that I killed back in 2021. The first plant on my list is my Pinguicular Giganti. If you've been following my YouTube journey since the beginning, I'm sure you remember me unboxing this plant in a past video. I was super excited to have this plant because it was actually meant to catch fungus gnats. I was highly anticipating the delivery of that plant. Guys, that plant literally died within days of me owning it. Like, those plants seem to be a lot more sensitive and I just was not ready for it. I literally transferred it to Lekka as soon as I got it, which was probably the biggest mistake. It did come bare root. I wish I had been using Pond at the time where I owned this plant because I feel like it would have done a lot better in Pond, but I didn't and sadly that plant died within a week and I haven't had one since. Oh God. The next plant on my list is my Alocasia Dragon Scale. People literally comment on that video to this day asking me for updates on that plant and that plant literally died probably within a month of me owning it. I think it was due to lack of knowledge. I didn't really know how to take care of an alocasia. I haven't even owned any type of alocasia since owning the dragon scale. It did die. That is one plant that I do plan on owning again though. I probably won't switch it to Lekka right away. Maybe that's a plant that would do better in Pond. I don't know. We're gonna have to see when we cross that bridge. <sighs> I'm just looking at the list. This is like really sad for me because some of these plants I really, really loved. Like the Pinguicular, the Dragon Scale. I loved those plants when I got them. I was so excited and now I just don't have them anymore and it's really sad for me. But anywho, the next one on my list is my Hoya Matildi. I actually bought a four leaf cutting of a Hoya Matildi. It was doing so good. I don't think it put out any growth at all within like the four months that I had it but it was doing okay until I moved it out of its home. I think I had it propagating in perlite and then I tried to switch it to Lekka. That's when everything just went downhill. I definitely plan on owning another Hoya Matildi again because it's so beautiful. It looks just like my serpents, but just like more bubbly. <laughs> you guys probably don't even remember this plant. I don't know if I ever showed this plant on my channel, the butt plant or what's the actual name of this plant? I don't know. It was like one of my first plants ever, but it's a plant that looks like a little butt. I'll put it here so you can see it. And I love this plant so much. The issue is, so I always had it in soil, but the issue for me was every time a new butt would come out, because if you ever owned one of those plants, what happens is the butt will open and then a new little set of butt cheeks will come out. Every single time the new set of butt cheeks would come out, they would die. Or they would look like long and weird and not so like full. It would be like not a voluptuous butt. It would be like a long butt. And it would eventually die. So after the last set of baby butt cheeks came out, they died and I kind of just chucked the plant. But that is also another plant that I would own again just because I enjoyed it thoroughly. I took pictures of that plant almost every day. This one is a sad one. I definitely showed this plant to you guys before. My Baby Tears bush. That was one of my favorite plants. It grew so much while I owned it. But out of nowhere, well I wouldn't say out of nowhere, I think I forgot to water it. Like I got the watering schedule messed up and then I just couldn't get it together. I kept forgetting to water it. I looked at it one day and I was like, why is it completely, well almost completely dead? The bottom was alive but the top of the stems, like literally the top of every stem was dead and dry. So I just cut them all off. I tried to propagate it. I tried to switch them to Lekka, the propagations, and 
let's just say I don't have a baby tears bush anymore but you better believe as soon as spring hits again I'm going to my favorite plant shop and I'm buying another one I think it would really like pawn Ooh, I can't wait Ugh, the next one I recently posted a picture of a cutting that I have my syndapsis trivii moonlight that's the only piece I have left it was such a beautiful plant every time I watered that plant leaves yellowed and just fell off and that's what happens with every syndapsis I own I cannot get the care down I do not know how to care for syndapsis plants don't ask me because I don't know that cutting that I have in Lekka right now it does seem to be doing good it's actually absorbing the water quite quickly for a two leaf cutting so I am very excited to see what happens with that the next one is just embarrassing because I purposely killed my golden pothos, my big mother plant that I had in the window. I always used to take my coffee picks in front of it, but you guys, if you follow my mother of plants Instagram, you know that that spot has been replaced by my gorgeous Hoya obovada, which I love dearly. Every time I watered my mother plant of my golden pothos, I would see fungus gnats literally everywhere. So I could not have that. Like as much as I love big, nice hanging baskets, I can't have that much dirt in my house. And people probably get so weirded out with me saying I don't like dirt because I love plants so much, but I used to be that person that was checking if the soil was wet with my finger, just ripping my plant out with bare hands. I used to love that shit. But last summer I was traumatized with bugs everywhere. Fungus gnats, bees, just too many crawling, flying things. If you love dirt, good on you. I do not like dirt. Oh, the next one. Oh my God, I'm so scared to say this. It's my Pudica Mimosa, the plant that moves when you touch it. And, oh God. I don't think I switched it to pond in my um, first pond video, but I did switch it to pond and it died immediately. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It was in perlite. My Pudica Mimosa, they were in perlite. They were doing okay, but Perlite to me is not a permanent medium that you can have your plants in so I knew eventually I was going to have to transfer them into something a little bit more sustainable. I thought they would be fine in pond but I guess they were not. And the reason why I was nervous to say that is because I've been promising someone a plant of Pudica Mimosa and now I have none. But I do have some seeds so I'm gonna try to grow them again for the third time because your girl does not give up. Lastly, this plant is not that exciting um, and the only reason why I'm saying it's not that exciting is because I don't really post any pictures of it or at least I didn't before I tossed it. That is my Calathea setosa. <laughs> Why'd I say it like that? Calathea setosa. It was one of my first Etsy purchases so I felt like I had to hold on to it because I got it from someone's like home it just felt a little bit more special to me but it just became kind of a nuisance and i couldn't get the watering schedule down it was still in soil i didn't feel like transferring it to leka so or any other medium so i kind of just threw it away i don't know i kept it on the back of the shelf it was kind of boring to me so i didn't really feel the need to keep it those are all of the plants that i killed in 2021 no that's definitely not all of the plants that i killed in 2021 i've definitely killed a bunch more but i kind of wanted to name the ones that i actually gave a shit about i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video i'm excited for 2022 give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video subscribe if you haven't already Follow my Mother of Plants Instagram. And until my next video, bye.